All right, so I have gone to the website Replit, which is where I'll be able to make code and test it. So the URL is replit.com. Um, once you go there, it'll ask you to make an account. Once you do, um, you'll probably see this screen, and then you will want to make a new REPL. So you can click here, or you can click here, and those will both create the same window. And we are going to make a web page, so we want this um, HTML CSS. If that's not at the top for you, keep scrolling until you find it. It's this one that starts with the word HTML. Um, and then you can give it a name over here, so I'm going to call this demo. I'm going to create it. All right. So it is going to give me um, a starter web page, and it's going to give me some extra stuff over here that we'll get to later. But for right now, I have a starter web page. And um, if I'm looking at this, um, a web page has two big parts. So the entire web page gets surrounded by these things called tags, and the outermost tags are HTML. Um, you'll notice that tags usually have a starting tag and an ending tag. The way I can tell them apart is the ending tag has the same characters, but it starts with a forward slash. Right? And so my whole page gets surrounded by HTML tags. And inside of the HTML, there are two main tags. One is the head that comes first, just like on a human. And then there is the body. Okay. Anything I put in the head is not going to be visible on this web page. It's going to be visible like in the tab at the top or something like that. So like the title, this is what appears in the tab at the top. Um, there's some links to some other files I have over here to ask them to work. Um, I'm not going to get into those yet. Anything I put in between these body tags shows up on the page. So let's add some text. When I add text to a web page, I always do what's called marking it up. That means I surround it with tags. So let's see some of the basic tags. The first thing that I can have is a heading on a page. And so there are six different headings we can use. They start with H1. This is my heading level one. Okay. And just to show you what happens, when I want to test this page, I'll hit run. And over here, it will show me what it looks like. So you'll notice headings automatically get pretty big. Okay. And I can have as many of these as I want on my page. Okay. When I use H1, that means that this is the most important level heading on my page. If I would like to use H2, this is my second level heading. Notice I always start and then close it after the text and see that automatically picks up smaller. And so I can keep going. And you'll notice they're also bolted. So they have some style that they pick up automatically. And I can keep going until I get to level six, because that's the last level. So I can keep going. And then this is the last level. So if I was making a page and I wanted to think about it as like an outline where the most important things have a title, basically that's got an H1 level and the next most important sections have H2 and the next most important section have H3. Um, that's how I would use these. We don't usually skip around. So we always start with one. And then if we use the next one down, it goes to two. It doesn't jump ahead to three or four. If we wanna change what these look like, We'll see how to do that later, okay? Another very simple tag is the P tag, and that's short for paragraph. And so in my P tag, I can write whatever text I want. And it will show up like regular size text on the page, okay? I can have as many P's as I want. And I wanna show you, you will notice that they automatically get some spacing between them when I start and close a fresh P tag. Okay, so that is the most basic website that you can create.